Good afternoon, City of Stonecrest. My name is Brandon Riley. I'm your Parks and Recreation Director. Today we are here at the Brownsville Aquatic Center, the first day of opening. Thank you so much for your wait. We really do apologize for waiting so long, but we're open now. We're open hours of operation from 12 to 7 p.m. And we'll be open every day this week up to the first day of school. After the first day of school, we'll be open on weekends from 12 to 7 p.m. We want you to come out, enjoy this beautiful water. I know it's hot outside. Enjoy, come citizens of Stonecrest. Come follow us on our Facebook page, Parks and Recreation Facebook page. We're looking forward to seeing you at Browns Mill. Hi, my name is Matt Satterley. I'm with Stangard Aquatics, and we were hired by the city of Stone to operate the Browns Mill Family Aquatic Center. We're super excited to have the facility back open to everyone. It was shut down last year, no one got to use it. And uh, although we got started a little late in the game this year, we're really excited to have it back open for patrons and kids and families. This is, uh, this is one of the feature attractions in DeKalb County and uh, we're with so many other county facilities, City of Atlanta facilities are all closed right now. We're one of the few facilities in this area that's open. Uh, this water park obviously offers lots of attractions from slides, Lazy River. We have a full splash pad interactive water play feature for the kids. We have a lap pool area for those that want to swim laps, and we have water features in our zero entry. Uh, it's a great opportunity to come out here towards the end of the summer and get outside. It's the uh, safest place to be these days is outdoors, uh, and the pools look, are looking great, and uh, we're, we're just really thrilled to be out here and, and offer this service to patrons in this area. Today is the grand reopening of our pool. Um, the pool has been closed for about two years. Uh, we had a transition from DeKalb County when Stonecrest took over Parks and Recreation Services. And then, of course, we had the pandemic last year. Uh, so this is the first time the kids in our area have been able to get out and enjoy uh, the hot sun, cool off, be safe, and a, and a healthy environment for them to enjoy themselves. All right, and repeat, why, why did they close down the first time? Uh, the transition from DeKalb County to Stonecrest. You know, Stonecrest was created about four years ago, and there was a while before DeKalb transitioned the park services over to us. Uh, so we lost some time then, and then, of course, with the pandemic, we lost more time. So we're just really excited to be reopened after the year. That sounds good to me. Is, there, is this kind of a foreshadowing of everything that's to come here in the city of Stonecrest? We think it is. Uh, we have ambitious uh, plans. Uh, moving forward, so hopefully we'll see lots of great things for our 55,000 residents. Well, today is the reopening of the Brownsville Aquatic Center. Uh, we've been closed for about two years now, and so we're really excited about getting our pools back into the city of Stonecrest uh, and starting a brand new chapter. Uh, we have a new vendor. We have a vendor, Standard, who is serving as our vendor for the Aquatic Center. Uh, we're really excited working with them, and uh, we're looking forward to continuing to grow. This is just a start. I mean, it's a hot day. Wonderful, wonderful time for the community to come out. And I know it's been a long time coming. We're really excited to open this, open this facility up. What's Brandon has said, you know, this is the sound of summer when you uh, hear the splashing in the pool and uh, uh, just uh, kids having fun. And this is one place that they really have always enjoyed, and I'm glad to see it return. So this is uh, what Stonecrest promised, and that was a place to uh, live, work, and play. And this is one of our main play spots is at the uh, Brownsville Recreation Center. So have, having it up and running again is a real big plus for us. And I do believe that this is a great gift to the uh, city as well as to the students as they're about to go back to school. This is a wonderful way for them to end their summer break and get ready for the uh, uh, academics that they're going to start next week. So this is a great time for them to release some energy, have some fun, play, and, and move forward. And I'm so grateful to our council, our city manager, and our uh, director of Parks and Recs to get this opportunity, make this opportunity available for the kids and for the city. Yeah, I'm sure I'm echoing the same sentiments. You know, nothing better than having somewhere to splash around and have fun when it's extremely hot outside. Kids are looking for something fun to do. So it's just exciting that we can get back to a place in the world where it feels like there's some sense of familiarity, some, nor some normalcy in what we used to do. Uh, so to have that for the kids right before school starts, maybe another way to release some stress and anxiety right before the school year begins. So we can't be happier to be able to give that to our community um, and be able to really just be proud of the city of Stonecrest and what we're doing to provide these services to our constituents, and especially the youngest constituents of all. So we're super excited to be at this day and just look forward to more and more summers with fun and the, and the splashing and the giggling and the running and screaming and just 
those are what really remind you that life is important, that family is important, and some of the things that we deal with every day, you just want to set them aside and go have some fun. So that's what we're about. Appreciate it.